So you're coming to Barcelona this February 2023 and you want to know the best activities, events, and things that are going on so you can make the most out of your trip? Here's my Barcelona city guide. Temperatures in Barcelona in February are similar to those other winter months where you're going to have probably average daytime temperatures around 50 degrees. Keep in mind that you've got really sunny days. That window closes a little bit where it's going to be much colder in the morning and much colder in the afternoon. So you're going to want to have layers. We might see highs as much as 60 and lows down into those 40s. But keep in mind that the locals always dress for the seasons. So you're going to see a lot of people bundled up even if it looks warmer. Like any other month in Barcelona, you're not going to have to worry about the rain too much. But despite being the winter, we're definitely going to be outside. So bring those layers because these activities are a lot of fun. And if you're coming over the first weekend of February, from the 3rd to the 5th, we've got Yum BCN. It's the Festival of Lights, and it's over in the Popla No area. Go over there, check out some of the buildings that are going to be all lit up from artists, and international artists from all over the world. It's a lot of fun, and it's also an evening event, giving you plenty of time to explore Barcelona during the day and get over at night to Popla No. It's also an area that you're going to want to see just in general. A little bit less touristy, a lot of families, but a lot of different bars, especially along the Rambla de Poplano. And remember the first Sunday of every month, you've got a lot of free museums to check out in Barcelona. So that first weekend of February, make sure to get over to some of those museums and take advantage of the free entrance. But with the special festivities going on this month, you'll also have some other days with free museums to look out for. On February 12th, we've got the first big festivals of the year. It's the Festas de Santa Laulia, and this year they're going to be celebrated the 10th, 11th, and 12th of February. We don't have the full plans right now, but as we get closer, we're going to have the full program to know all of the different activities that are usually celebrated right here in the Plaza de San Jaume, including the human towers and the big dances with all the giants and other characters that are so famous in Barcelona folklore and around through all the rest of the streets of the Gothic Quarter. So definitely be around here during that time. Santa Laulia is the patron saint of Barcelona. She was a 13-year-old girl who was tortured 13 times under the Romans. The most famous of those tortures took place right here, where they put her inside of a wooden barrel with knives, glass, nails, all those sharp objects, and rolled her down 13 separate times. I cover this and a bunch of the other tortures in a separate video all about the history of the legend of Santa Laulia that you should definitely check out. And just days after the Santa Laulia celebrations end, we've got the beginning of Carnival. This year it's running from February 16th to the 22nd. Carnival historically has been the week before Lent where people just go crazy and let everything out before those strict days, 40 days before Easter. The first documented celebration here in Barcelona was back in the 1300s. Nowadays, people aren't covering up their faces to hide kind of all the sins that they're having, but there are celebrations throughout the entire city. We've got all sorts of different foods, special foods that are made just around this time that you can check out and different contests, especially for the tortilla in different neighborhoods as well. There's two specific days that you need to know, the 16th and the 22nd, which we'll talk about right now. The first of those two days is February 16th, which is known here as Fat Thursday. It's going to start down where we were just before at the bottom of La Rambla with La Ribu, which is the arrival of the King Carnes Soteles, which is going to start off the entire celebration of that idea of carnival. The King is going to be accompanied by his Queen and the seven assistants, which represent the seven old districts of the city, also the places where you typically have those parades throughout the week. One of the things that's going to happen starting down at that bottom when they get over here to the Palau Virreina is they have the big orange fight that kicks everything off. Obviously, this is a historic orange fight, but today we don't throw those oranges anymore. Don't know if you've ever been hit by one. Doesn't feel too good. What they usually do is they leave a bunch of balloons, orange balloons that go off to start the huge celebrations. The other big day is the last day of that week. This year, February 22nd, which is gonna be Ash Wednesday, but here it's also known as Lanterro. Basically, you translate that to the burial of the sardine. And while that sounds a little weird, it's basically just saying goodbye to the king for another year. The week has ended and now we start Lent. To help celebrate that, a lot of the neighborhoods are going to have some dishes, including those fried sardines. While Carnival in Barcelona is always a fun time, it tends to be smaller parades throughout the city on different days. If you're looking for some of the biggest and best celebrations and definitely bigger parades, what you got to do is you head down to Sieges. It's about 40 minutes on the train. I've got videos about how to get over there and their program is much more extensive. Usually they have those bigger celebrations on the Saturday and the Tuesday of that week. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can find all of that information, but it's definitely something to check out. And if you can't make it over there during the week of Carnival in February, it's also just a great place to get over to. It's one of the top day trips around from Barcelona. 
And at the end of the month, we've got the Mobile World Congress back in town for 2023. This is something that's probably not as big of an event for tourists, but it's something really important to know. One of the biggest conferences for tech in the world coming in to Barcelona. The dates are gonna be from the 27th of February until the 2nd of March. And while you're probably not running over to the conference to check it out, it's important to know because there's gonna be a lot of people in town. Finding reservations for restaurants, for hotels, is gonna be a little bit more difficult and those prices are really gonna go up. If you already have those dates booked and everything taken care of, keep in mind that taxis are also really hard to find because most of them are going over to that conference to make sure that people can get back and forth. It's just something to keep in mind, but know that it will be in town. Great thing for the city, but definitely changes. Prices increase at the time when it's usually at low season. And while Carnival has its special foods that you can enjoy, one of the biggest winter foods if you're here in Barcelona, and one that I always recommend, for me personally, it's always gotta be done in February, is having a calzutada. And that's eating those calzots, which are those small baby spring onions that you're gonna dip in a romescu sauce and turn into a larger barbecue. One of the best things that you can do is get outside of the city and go to a bigger area and have those barbecues where you make the huge grill, all sorts of different meats and those calzots, of course. But also inside the city, if you can't get onto the outside, you've got a bunch of different restaurants that are gonna have closed menus that provide those calzots for you. But if you're looking for those restaurants to get those calzots, find out where they are, Check out my guide that I'll leave in the description below to February here in Barcelona. It's got an interactive map to get you around along with all of the information about those festivals and the specific dates so that you can make the most out of your trip if you're planning to come to Barcelona in February 2023.